The Southern Ocean is another major dilemma for um, plate tectonists. The southern, in the Southern Ocean, all of the, all of the oceans and continents are actively spreading away from Antarctica, away and, and supposedly moving north into the Northern Hemisphere. And the spreading rate between Antarctica and Australia is around 65 millimetres per year, six and a half centimetres per year. And as you saw in the previous animations, the uh, crustal motion is essentially east-west, opening up in the Atlantic and the Indian Oceans, essentially east-west, and there's no net northern migration of, this, of these continents or oceans uh, seen in these animations. <coughs> there's also, uh, there is no physical evidence for uh, active collision in the, uh, in the Arctic Ocean region with this amount of, this huge amount of opening of the Southern Ocean. So it's got to go somewhere. It's, and as well as converging on the, on the Pacific Ocean for the, for the Atlantic and Indian, it's supposedly converging on the Arctic Ocean as well, and there's just absolutely no record in this region of um, convergence. Now I'm going, I've got a, another animation which may not work. Um... No. And this is a very important one. What I'm trying to show is each of the globes that I constructed revolving once and then pop down to the next, uh, next globe. So what I'm simply doing is removing each coloured stripe in turn, popping them down into the next globe and then continuing right through the sequence and this is going to be a disaster. Mm. Similar to the sequencing uh, slides before where they just pop through uh, back in time and then come forward again. You do that. Yeah. Um, so what, what I've done here is simply rotated each globe and then popped down to the next one so you can actually see the transformation back in time and then moving forwards in time. This interval of time, uh, the, this, the uh, time covered by these, uh, uh, this animation is about 200 million years. And this represents uh, closing off of the oceans, remembering right from the start, this uh, Otto Hilgenberg did this visually. Uh, we now have this oceanic mapping to physically quantify this closing off process back in time. It represents 4% of Earth history. Our uh, total Earth geological time is about 4,600 million years, f for those who don't know. And this. 20, uh, sorry, this 4% of Earth history represents about 70% of the expansion history, as I'll elaborate on shortly. And by using this mapping, I was able to show that each of these reconstructions are latitudinally and longitudinally constrained by the mapping. In other words, there is only one fit option in plate tectonics, uh, reconstructions are constrained by uh, magnetic data, the location of the poles, the ancient poles. And if you know a little bit about that, they, <coughs> that their reconstructions are only constrained by latitude and they cannot constrain by longitude. So they have a, a multitude of fit options. So they have a multitude of fit options. So any scientist can come in make a reconstruction and uh, say yes this is it and it'll be completely different to another researcher. On an expanding earth we only have one fit option and this is the, the, the key to this presentation is that you only have one fit option it is constrained latitudinally and longitudinally by both time and location.